hang on now, too. Use the force, Luke. Who, who said that? I hope you enjoy that. Welcome to Ready Steady Charge. I am Solomon and today we are talking about the heads-up displays. Specifically the heads-up display of the Hyundai Kona EV as well as heads-up displays on other vehicles. For those of you who haven't experienced an HUD before, the heads-up display, um, let me tell you what it is. So a heads-up display is a pane of glass or plastic which is transparent, and it contains a coating that can reflect a projection. So what this translates to in real life is you're seeing an image on a transparent piece of plastic or glass, and you can see the world beyond it. So you have an image projected into the real world. Since heads-up displays are only available on some vehicles, I think it will be great to talk about how the heads-up display works on the Hyundai Kona EV and what kind of information it displays. I would also like to talk about what I think the future of HUDs is like and what I hope to see in future vehicles. The HUD on the Hyundai Kona EV is its own pane of plastic. So it's not a projection right onto the windshield. There is a button right down on the side here to extend or retract this heads-up display, depending on whether or not you use it. For myself, the moment I used it, I really like it. So I always have it on. I really like it because it displays the driving speed right on my field of vision when I'm looking at the road. So I don't have to look down and look at my speed. So this is the main reason why I use the heads-up display and why I really like the heads-up display is I don't have to look down to see the speed at which I'm driving. Let me show you what kind of information can be displayed on the HUD. Now before I show you the footage, I just want to tell you that one of the tricky things with showing the heads-up display is it appears very clear and very high quality to the human eye, but as soon as you try to record it with a camera, it looks different. So most of the footage would seem make you feel like the numbers displayed on the HUD is quite small. Um, in fact, they're actually not small, they're just small when you look at it through a camera. So here's a quick demonstration. Now when I have the uh, camera very close to the heads-up display, it looks very tiny. And then when I pull the camera back to in front of my eyes, the size actually does not shrink. So looking at it from where I'm sitting, it actually looks quite large, it's a good size. But when you go close with a camera, it looks quite small. So always keep that in mind. Some of the information that you can find on the heads-up display include the uh, driving speed. So this is what you're going to be using all the time with this heads-up display. Um, as a bonus, the HUD can also show you what the speed limit of this area is. Now this is according to the record that the vehicle has in this GPS system. So it only takes a speed that it knows from the GPS. So this is not always accurate, but I think it's pretty accurate most of the time. When you're doing cruising with the vehicle, uh, there are a few additional pieces of information that you can see on the HUD. So one of these is the lane keeping setting, the other one is the following distance, and the last would be the cruising speed. So all of these 
can be seen on the heads-up display and you don't have to look down at your instrument cluster to see all these settings. If you're navigating with the onboard navigation system, then uh, the heads-up display will show you the navigation instructions. So basically, which way to turn. And it will also show you the distance to the next turn. The heads-up display has a lot of settings that you can change. So that in those include the uh, location and the rotation, size, brightness, color of the number, and all those kind of things. So you can really tune this to your heart's content and get it to exactly where you want it to show you what you want to see. Needless to say, I really like the heads-up display and I, I, I can't praise it enough. So the main thing is all these crucial information that you need to know about your vehicle can be projected right in front of you in your field of view while you are looking at the road. And it helps because you don't have to look down at your instrument clusters to see any of these information. As good as the implementation of the Kona's heads-up display is, uh, I still think it is a transitional technology. And what I mean is the information that are on this HUD are all numbers and settings about the vehicle. They are just projected so that they are in your field of view when you're looking at the road. What I think would take this technology to the next level is augmented reality, or AR. Now, what do I mean by augmented reality? Uh, what I mean is the augmented reality would be a projection of an overlay onto your field of view that includes information that a vehicle recognizes as important in the real world. So some of the examples I can think of off the top of my head is, um, for example, your vehicle sees a road sign and it highlights it and emphasizes it. If it sees a sign that tells you what the speed limit is, it will highlight that. Um, if there are vehicles around you, it will highlight those things. And if there are uh, pedestrians on the side, it will show you maybe a circle or a rectangular box around the pedestrians. So what I mean by AR is emphasizing the information that is available in the real world and projecting that onto the windshield and onto your field of view so that you can be better informed about what is happening in the real world. Fortunately, this type of technology is already on its way. So there are two vehicles that are coming out, uh, both are electric vehicles, that has this technology built in. So one of these is the Volkswagen ID4. So the ID4 has a heads-up display feature which is projected right onto the windshield. The Volkswagen ID4 features a augmented reality function that centers around navigation. So from the videos I've seen uh, on the Volkswagen ID4, it seems like it will show you the navigation information as if that information is appearing in the real world, almost like in the video game. The Hyundai Ioniq 5, which is going to be coming out sometime soon, features a augmented reality heads-up display. Uh, one of the functions that I've seen is it will highlight the vehicles that is tracking around you so that you know which vehicle your particular vehicle is aware of in your surrounding. All of this talk of heads-up display actually gives me an idea around Tesla vehicles. So the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y do not have a front-facing instrument panel. Everything is displayed on the main screen on the side. Uh, a lot of people think that the front instrument panel is not required, and that's fair enough. But humor me for a moment. Uh, what if the Model 3 and the Model Y, instead of a front-facing instrument cluster, had a heads-up display? displaying right onto the windshield. Now the Model 3 and the Model Y could start off with a HUD that displays information in a rudimentary fashion, like what the Hyundai Kona EV has. But because Tesla is so good with over-the-air update, it's very easy to imagine Tesla adding features over time. And that's wonderful. 
because Tesla also has a lot of sensors in their vehicle that are focused around um, autopilot, self-driving, all those kind of things. And I think it will be very helpful if some of that information could be projected onto the heads-up display and into the real world, so that you can get a sense of what your autopilot is doing. So which vehicle is tracking, uh, where does it think the road is, I think that will be a very cool feature. I personally think that a heads-up display would add even more futuristic feel to the Model 3 or the Model Y. And I think it will be a great useful feature as well for owners of Model 3s and Model Ys. So tell me, do you think Teslas should have heads-up displays? Let us know in the comment below. Thank you everyone for joining me today on our video about heads-up display. I truly think this is the future of all vehicles, and it's very useful. It's an extremely useful technology, and frankly, it looks cool, and it looks very sci-fi. So make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more electric vehicle content. My name is Solomon. As always, see you on the next one.